Two L.A. City firefighters remain hospitalized this morning following yesterday's massive explosion in Wilmington involving a pressurized tank on a semi-truck. Let's go to Gigi Live at uh, a general medical center there in Los Angeles with the latest on their condition and what we know so far about what happened. Good morning. Roxy and Sandra, good morning. Good morning, everyone. We just received an update from the Los Angeles City Fire Department. But first, let me show you exactly what happened yesterday morning. We've had an explosion of a CNG truck. We've got multiple firefighters down. It started as a call for help. A truck was on fire and ended with what the fire department calls a mass casualty incident, something they trained for. But this time, the victims were all firefighters. It was the explosion of a compressed natural gas tank on a semi-truck yesterday morning in Wilmington. So intense, it actually sent L.A. City firefighters flying, leaving nine of them injured in the blast, two of them in critical condition. Both of those men remain hospitalized, but seven others have been treated and released. Seven of the injured members have been released from the hospital, and they will receive ongoing treatment and support to begin this long healing process. Now, there are types of injuries. They include burns, uh, blunt trauma, uh, shrapnel, and effects to their hearing. So, of course, our thoughts and our prayers remain with our injured brothers, and we are wishing them a speedy recovery. And that blunt trauma affecting several firefighters, including a 37-year-old. He is hospitalized here at L.A. General Medical Center. They have a burn unit where he's receiving specialized care. He's been with L.A. City Fire for nine years. And that other firefighter, he remains hospitalized in the harbor area, also in critical condition.